22 February 2015, 11.30am. Uh, this is the Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupai Vets. Okay, this video will, will be teaching the owner of a hamster that has been operated on how to clean the wound or how to clean an infected wound due to injury. As you can see in this hamster, there's a wound there and uh, that wound has been going on for some time. So I will teach the owner how to how to uh, clean this wound. Okay, so uh, first of all, we will look at the equipment. The equipment will be here. These are the equipment. The glove, the antiseptic, and the water, clean water. So this is the basic equipment to use. So now I will demonstrate on this hamster that had to been operated for water remover. First of all, I wear the glove. So, because some hamsters bite, so we need to wear gloves. So we pick up the hamster between the shoulders. Now, I will weigh the hamster. Yesterday was 39 grams. So today, after the removal of two watts, it's 34 grams. So this hamster has lost about uh, five grams after surgery. Okay, so so we weigh the hamster. After weighing, I put it back here again into the container so that it won't fall off accidentally. So the next step will be I will do the show the wound cleaning first. Now the two warts have you see here have been removed, and uh, and they are very small, about three millimeter times three millimeter. Now one of the warts is here, as you can see, it's there near to the wound and uh, there's one wart stitch up and the other wart is below the elbow has been removed so they can't see much now okay so these are the two now I will demonstrate how to wash the wound so first I put the hamster back into the container first I will open up the chlorhexidine and get ready so normally we do both sides, one side and then also the other side using both sides of the cotton bud, the Q-tip so then I pick up the hamster now if you are right handed of course you use your right hand to hold the hamster place on the table and then use the antiseptic to clear the dirt from this wound one side and then the other side clear clear it as much as you can to clean the wound this could be an operational wound but because the the what wound is so small there's no need to do it there is so small so there's nothing to to clean although if it's a big wound you have to clean it clean away the blood okay after cleaning so put the hamster down again into the in the container to let him rest a while first otherwise uh, some of them will be so stressed out they, they start to squeak and, and uh, be running away okay, so after that then now I will take up again to clean clean away the antiseptic so I put the cotton bud into water both sides so with water plain water I try and clean off the the dirt on the surface of the wound holding the hamster firmly between the shoulders then clean up as much as can make it clean so they won't be ir irrit irritating to the hamster because the infected wound, wound, uh, wound is very uh, itchy so I just clean like this as much of the blood as possible and the dirt so if there's the one cotton bud then I use another one dip in the water twice two ends and then I start cleaning as well you see you clean off all the any uh, dirt on the surface so use both sides the other side now as you can see this uh, what removal wound is very small but you still can clean it clean away the blood clot after removal which is nothing much actually because of the what is very small you can see so I clean up as much as possible so two times a day morning and night clean away the dirt okay then put down put it down to rest again 
because I'll be stressed out. And we stressed out. Now, I will give the medication now. So the next step is because of the surgery and the wound. So I'll give medication now. The medication consists of two syringes here. One is the prep and one is the betrayal. So, so uh, I will have to. So I I will take one. Normally we feed two times a day for ten days. So first of all, it, you take out one drop like this. Okay. Then pick up the hamster again, and you can see from here. Okay, the hamster just put near his mouth. So you just take one drop. We finish. Okay, then put down first. Let it rest a while. Then the other one. I will give another drop. You can see. Ready, one drop. Just the one drop up first. Okay. Then I bring the hamster up. And uh, the best is hold this way. And uh, as firmly as possible. And open his mouth and put one drop in. And that's it. We'll okay, put it down and uh, repeat it in the evening two times a day. That's how you medi medicate the hamster for 10 days for the wound. One is to bring down the inflammation, one is for antibiotics. And uh, that's it. So you can see that uh, after 10 days, this one, the swelling should be got, gone down much more, the redness. So by your vets, February 22, 2015, Singapore.